Excellent. Oh, we have an outfit. Let's boost my magic. That seems like an excellent idea. Oh, I do like this outfit too. All right, we're gonna keep upping my wheel of magic. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of a staff, burning whichever you, whatever you point at. By concentrating, you can create wave of discontent which panics and confuses or enrages other people around you. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. You learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning those caught within and blinding others who look at it. Excellent. You receive a letter from your Lord Adair. So far he's enjoying himself. He says the trees are different. There are a lot more frogs. He looks forward to visiting the lookout for it at Shepherd's Point. Cool. And we're going to sneak out again. One more wheel of magic, and let's go back to resist magic, I think is a good idea. Actually, let's go wheel of magic and see if magic. There we go. Alright. You learn how to make use of images to wield your other powers at a great distance. You learn to consciously project a magical shield around your body, blocking intrusion, a powerful technique, but you can't keep it up for long. You gain increased resistance against heat and cold, becoming comfortable in different weather and environments, and being able to sip hot soup without burning your tongue. Oh, I wish I had that power. Alright. Your agents report a buildup of military strength, particularly warships in Sangia, the major power across the ocean to the west that they may be intending to go on the attack. Oh, I failed world history and foreign affairs. There's no reason to assume that you would be their target. Oh, I'm sure that I am. It takes time to assemble vessels and you have advanced wine. You can make your own preparations to defend your coast. The downside is they won't come cheap. But yes, we're going to build more warships. Alright. Um, we're going to sneak out again. Alright, and keep doing resist magic. Do both resist. There we go. You learn how to quickly flare magical shields around you to deflect an incoming attack. This, use, this uses much less energy than a constant shield, but it requires good timing to be effective. You learn how to maintain a low-level deflection field so that magical attacks not directly targeted at you will slide harmlessly aside. This doesn't need much power, so you can keep it up for longer periods of time. You learn how to directly counter ma offensive magic with your own power so that you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. This is very dangerous if the other spell is too powerful. Your increased skill and power gives you innate resistance to mind-affecting magic. Your understanding of the flow of power gives you increased resistance to damage caused by magic, even without a shield. You can still be hurt, but less than an ordinary human would be. Excellent. Unpleasant news. Uh-oh. Talarist has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions. This is, a disrupted, or is disrupting. There are growing shortages of supplies. We will send emergency aid to keep the people fed. Okay, we're going to try and become lonely. We can still hold out for a bit. Okay, let's go up to sense magic. You close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell beside you. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments such as blessed weapons that can do magical damage. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures so that you can tell roughly what a spell is meant to do achieve. You expand your magical perceptions to give you some idea of what where a detected spell was come, cast from and how long ago. You learn to detect the latent power that signifies a lumen, even when he or she is not actively working with magic. There are letters for me, another one from Brianny. She's bored and lonely. There's, okay, someone's birthday party. I don't think I can survive it, so let's send my regrets. And we're gonna play with toys. Okay, so, good, I can have my medicine. So we're gonna do, still sense magic, we're gonna finish that off and we're gonna go battlefield. Alright, you expand your senses, learning to detect spells and magical creatures at a greater distance. You learn to detect lingering traces of strong magic from the past, even when the spell has long since completed. And I finished that one. You learn that blood loss wastes life energy. Bleeding should be stopped through bandages, pressure, and elevation. You learn that minor burns should be cooled, washed, and gently wrapped to keep clean the cut. Major burns and scalding, such as boiling oil, are untreatable on the battlefield. Sigh, all my friends are at the party and I don't get to go. I sent a letter saying that I couldn't come, but it was her mother who replied. I think she's insulted and I didn't consider the event important enough to attend. Well, she can stop it. Let's play with toys. It's childish, but I feel a bit better. <clears throat> and we're still good for medicine, so let's do poison. 
standard treatment for most ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powder charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Certain poisons will counteract each other, such that either on their own will kill the victim, but carefully applying a matching amount of the other will cure. If a victim is stabbed with the poison spine of a sea urchin, the spine must be removed very caref carefully and the air affected area soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. It is possible to become immune to the venom of a particular snake by routinely ingesting small, very small amounts. However, this protection is temporary and will not provide any help against other snakes. I unlocked a new outfit. Matters have come to a crisis. Arise, the Duchess of Wyla has declared civil war. Oh, good. She feels that you are a weak leader, unfit to be queen, and has managed to sway several others to her banner. Who is against me? A, a minor of a number of minor earls and countesses, the Duchess of Mead and the Dick. The Dick. Oh my God. Yep. I. Yep. Okay. But Gwynell's my friend. She may not have a choice. The Duke of Kegel. <laughs> not Dick of Kegel. Situation. Oh, what forces can she muster? Because I have military success. We have three battalions, two companies, and two platoons. The naval side is, of course, useless in this conflict. By my estimate, Arise can field four battalions, two companies, and one platoon. That's not good. We're now to a question of strategy. There are ways to increase the number of soldiers you have available. You could offer pardon to various imprisoned criminals in exchange for military service. Yep. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Yeah. They will take forces are in motion, but they will take time to reach their peak. Uh oh. I'm gonna play with toys. They make me feel better. Right, and we unlocked the medicine gown. So let's do that. And we'll do, let's max out battlefield. You learn that soldiers should never sleep in damp clothes or on damp ground. This is unhealthy. You learn that latrines, food waste, and burials must be kept far away from living soldiers to avoid spreading disease. Holes should be dug deep and covered up for use. You learn that some wounds need to be sewn closed. The needle should first be cleaned by holding it in a flame for a minute or two. Fire should not be applied to the wound, it will make it worse. You learn that piercing arrows should never be pushed to the body, that will make the injury worse. Cut very carefully with a sharp blade to dig the arrowhead out without causing large tears in the flesh. You learn that broken bones should be immobilized with wooden splints to prevent them from moving around. The straight wood will encourage the bone to grow straight. Cool. The negotiator for the rebels has arrived to speak with you. Surrender now and I will be lenient. We are not here for our surrender, we are here for yours. You have one chance to avoid needless bloodshed. Agree to marry one of her sons. She'll become your regent and guide the domain into stability. You'll be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. No. I am the queen and I will not give in to threats. Since we cannot come to an agreement, we'll meet you on the battlefield. Fine. Toys. Oh, now I'm happy. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna max out medicine, so... Let's do one battlefield and poison. You learn about situations where a crushed or rotten limb must be removed in order to save the rest of the body. A blow to the chest may create a sucking wound which stops the patient from breathing. A special wax bandage is needed to keep air from passing through the wound. Right? Cinnabar dust creates tremors, anxiety, and eventually death if ingested over a long term. This is mostly a problem for minors, but can be dangerous if it is routinely added to someone's food. There is no cure, but most will slowly recover if they have no more dust. The herb tansy is a mild poison with particular effect on lower Rubbed on the skin, it repels insects. Drunk as a tea, it drives out worms from the stomach. Unfortunately, this sometimes makes people very ill. That's bad. War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. Your control of magic enhances your claim to divine right of rulership. The Lumen powers cause chaos among your enemies with explosive displays and waves of terror. You lack the strength to take on a whole army by yourself, of course, but they don't need to know that. Battles are won and lost, fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. The final outcome is a victory for your side. Your forces sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. Aris, the ringleader, is executed and the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Of course, there is also a cost paid in lives. Your keen sense of military strategy enabled, enabled you to resolve the affair with much less loss of life than might have been expected. Your medical training helps you, yay, to preserve the lives of some of your wounded soldiers and their captive foes as well. Total casualties were a tenth of a battalion on your side and a shade over one battalions among the rebels. Of course, there are no more rebel soldiers now. They are once more your loyal subjects. Ah, yes. Toys. Okay. Let's do poison and herbs, I think. Right. 
Belladonna berries are purple, juicy looking, and sweet. Eating a handful of them causes blindness followed by death. It can be treated very carefully with a paste of calabar beans, which are also poisonous. The flower known as black sun creates a poison which induces violent madness in the victim. In larger doses, it produces the same results as belladonna. The foxglove flower is a dangerous poison. Chewing the leaves or drinking water in which they have been soaked is likely to be fatal. Symptoms include dizziness and yellow vision. Powdered epsom epsomite is the only known antidote. Sage has a variety of health benefits. It keeps meat from spoiling, aids digestion, improves thinking, and may even help to bring color back in gray hair. Calendula flowers can be used in soothing teas as well as skin lotions. It is also said to provide visions of one's secret enemies if worn under the light of a full moon. Comfrey can be used to help mend broken bones. However, it is also slightly poisonous in large amounts and should not be eaten. Things have been so unsettled, we need something cheerful. We could hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prize? Employment. It's a recruitment drive. My eyes fall upon a vase of flowers, pretty but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Someone on the hall duty is being late. Oh, I'm failing the things again. A gift has arrived from Kegel. From the Duke? No, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. Chocolates! With our, house of, with our compliments, the House of Cranot. Oh no, delicious. Please tell me I passed the poison check. Yes! Oh, thank god I don't want to die of poisoning! <laughs> You recognize the symptoms of poisoning immediately and are able to reverse the effects. Subsequent investigation shows that no house of Krylot exists in Kegel. Someone has tried to kill you, but you don't know who. Rude. 